Okay, this is about history. We're talking about world history for session two. When we started this course on the 12th of August, we recapped for a couple of weeks what we had done in the first half of the course, which we actually did cover the Grand Council in Heaven, the Creation, the Garden of Eden, the Fall, Adam on Diamond, what happened during that time with the first three patriarchs, what happened with Enos, because he had to bug out. He was That was the first time that the people of God left the po big population area and went and established another city. Uh, then we come to, to Enoch, who did the same thing, and why? And what were the tenets of the city of Enoch and of Zion? Um, why was it such a successful society? We dig into that, and what were some of the miracles that happened uh, when Enoch had to defend his people. Well, then we go through and we go to the time of Methuselah and Lamech and Noah. What was their mission? What did they do? And what was the geography like that it had allowed them to accomplish their mission? Um, what happened during that period before the flood? Then we talk about the flood. And after that, there were 10 more patriarchs. Okay, what happened with those patriarchs? Well, and what happened when a certain person like the name of Nimrod came along? And what did he do? And how has he affected our culture and our society down to today? What were his institutes? What were his main points that he tried to pawn off on everybody? Okay. What was his philosophy? And when we look at the difference between Zion society, the city of Enoch, and when we talk about the institutes of Nimrod and uh, Babel, which is he had a great uh, part in the Tower of Babel, uh, what's the difference here? Okay. Uh, and how can we use that difference and understand that difference down to today? Then we talk about, of course, the Tower of Babel and what happened. And before that, there was the division of the land that allowed certain priesthood colonies, if you will, to go out from the Tower of Babel. We know of one of them. We know of, of Jared and his brother. But there are other priesthood colonies, and we talk about those as well. It is very, very, very interesting to see where they went. We certainly don't know where all of them went, but we have discovered where some of them went. So, And we talk about those priesthood colonies, and how long did they last? You know, it, 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 it's really interesting. Then we get into uh, what would be the normal history and talk about the... Uh, Mesopotamia and the Fertile Crescent and the River Valley societies and so forth. And then we go on from there. We talked about the ancient uh, civilizations up to the Pax Romana, which was the 200 years of peace, the Roman peace. And that allowed not only at that time for the Savior to come in a time of relative peace, but also it allowed his apostles and disciples to spread the gospel throughout the Roman Empire and into other places in the world, which is really interesting. You know, when you, when you look at the history and you say, well, what, what happened here? Augustus Caesar, what did he do that, that helped to, to keep and establish that Pax Romana? Anyway, and you know what? The same thing happened in China. That's very interesting, too, I think, that they had a couple hundred years of peace. Okay, then we talked about the, um, the time that this year we would study from the time of Christ forward. And that's what we're doing. Okay, we, are get, we have gotten into um, the Roman Empire and the dissolution of the Roman Empire, um, the Eastern Empire and so forth and now we're into the, to the Middle Ages and how the Christianity developed 
uh, in the Middle Ages and what happened to it. We're talking about the great apostasy, what things happened and so forth and we will carry forth from there. Um, in this next quarter we are going to be talking about exploration towards the end and we're going to talk about Christopher Columbus. We're going to go into his journal and read some of the things that he said and then we're going to go to the Book of Mormon and there's a verse or two there about Christopher Columbus and see do the two jive? Do they, are they the same thing? And it's kind of interesting when we do that and then uh, we're also going to talk about uh, Christ in America. Did he really visit people here? Were the Jews really here? You know, and, and talk about archaeological evidences and traditions and stories among Native Americans, both in North America and South America. And we will discover that, yes, Christ was here and he did visit more than, than one group of people, it looks like because of the uh, traditions of, of the people in various parts of the North and South American continents. Then the third quarter, we're going to go into other exploration and so forth in the development of the European nations um, and the development of our own country, okay? And then finally, in the last quarter, we're going to talk a little bit about classics. We're gonna talk about what happened uh, basically in the last century and a half, century and a quarter, up to the, the present day, and what is there that we can kind of expect in the future. It is a wonderful, wonderful course. And to augment it, uh, kind of like a spine book that you use in homeschooling, you know, uh, in homeschooling, you sometimes have what, what is called a spine book, and that is where you get your basic information, but then you go out here and there and elsewhere and you get other information, and that's exactly what we do. The Spine Book is the Abeka History of the World in Christian Perspective, and it really helps. It helps the kids to understand what happened to Christianity. How did it happen? Why did it happen? And um, it also highlights some of the people who fought to establish and to to uh, establish biblical Christianity, okay? Um, they didn't have the priesthood, but they had hearts of gold and faith, and they believed in the truth of the scriptures. And so it's, it's interesting to talk about the martyrs that have been all the way through in, in history, the Christian martyrs, and, and what they accomplished and what they did. So, um, we're excited for the kids for this year to understand the history and why uh, the United States has more of a possibility of a Zion society and when we talk about communism it and some of the philosophies that are out there now uh, that are, are promulgated and taught in schools are more like uh, the Institutes of Nimrod. And that's just kind of interesting that we're still fighting that same battle. So uh, we're hopefully enlightening uh, the children's minds so they will have some aha moments. Maybe you'll have some aha moments. Um, and uh, we, uh, we encourage that you keep track of what they're doing. This is uh, a fantastic course and we're really excited to share the knowledge that we have with the kids. Thank you.